Hello everyone, my name is Dave Partner. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to set up user roles, levels, access and permissions in Laravel 5.6. But the methods I'm going to teach you in this course will work for all versions of Laravel, including Laravel 4. And it will work for all PHP frameworks and even non-PHP frameworks. It will work in Cake PHP and Code Igniter, and it will work in Python frameworks like Django and um, Flask. So basically, once you understand this concept, you have understood a key concept in web development. Almost all websites you want to build has um, user roles and permissions. So um, I will teach you a very simple way to do that even without adding any plugin. All right. So first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Dave Partner, and um, I have over 63 repositories on GitHub. So I basically write software and put out there for free for people to use. And the repository for this, uh, so the, the source code for this tutorial is also on GitHub. My occupation is, is, uh, is software development. I basically write software every blessed day. I code every day. All right. Uh, I currently have the best Laravel 5.5 tutorial on the internet, which means if you go to Udemy right now and just search for Laravel 5.5, my course is what you're going to see. As you can see, this is Udemy, this is Laravel 5.5. My course is the first. So um, you can be sure you're in the right hands uh, while I take you through this course. You understand? So um, I basically am on YouTube to making uh, run occasionally making free videos on programming. All right. I've made over 530 videos on YouTube. Now, why this course is important? This course is very important for the following reasons. It will introduce you into a, to a simple way to create multi-user roles. You understand the way you need to, sometimes you need to create admin, then you have to create some staff, then you have to create some users. Sometimes, uh, let's say you're building a medical application, you need to create admin, then you have to create uh, medical doctors, then you have to create patients. You understand? And then sometimes you need to create some staff that fill um, forms. You understand? The receptionist needs to have an account. So all these are different user roles. So it will introduce you to a very simple way to create that. Now, uh, to show you how to grant permissions to different user roles. So in the hypothetical uh, medical application that we're talking about right now, imagine uh, we don't we we wouldn't want the the receptionist to have access to some records that the doctor will have access to, you understand? And uh, we wouldn't want the patients to have access to some records or other patients' uh, records, you understand? So uh, we basically want to limit the access each person has. So um, this course will teach you how to grant such permissions. Now, um, we want to also learn how to uh, display different menus according to which user is logged in. So we don't need to build a separate app for doctors, a separate platform for receptionists, a separate platform for patients. No, we're going to build one platform that is intelligent enough to know which user is logged in and then display the right menu to the user. So doctors will see menus that have to do with doctor um, duties. Then uh, receptionists will see menus that have to do with receptionist duties or functions. And then users or patients we'll see uh, uh, menus that have to do with patient functions, such as apply to get a card, renew your card, apply to see a doctor, you understand? Then on the doctor's part, doctors might see a list of my patients and uh, search for a new patient, you know, something like that. So this course is going to introduce you on how to create such menus, you understand? All right. So now the final objective at the end of this course, uh, Students should be able to download and set up new Laravel projects. That's exactly where we're starting from in this course. We need to show you through how to download and set up a new Laravel project. And then, or you can just continue from an existing Laravel project. Now, um, this course also, at the end of this course, uh, students should be able to create multi users, uh, multiple users, and multiple user roles. So you can, depending on whichever application you're building, you should be able to create unlimited user roles and if it's a software you're shipping your customer should be able to download the software install it and set it up and be able to create unlimited user roles now um 
your students should be able to grant access to different user roles and users. So uh, at the end of this course, you'll see yourself being able to grant access to different types of users and um, determine what they see. All right. So here are the courses we'll be co the, the courses we'll be covering in this course. All right. So um, we'll be covering several different topics, and the first one is um, in the introduction uh, section we are going to be downloading and setting up Laravel so for the first four videos you'll be downloading and setting up Laravel then for the next videos as you can see each of them is around um, an average of 10 minutes uh, you will understand how to set up the user sign in and sign up and then you understand the folder structure of Laravel and then you understand how to create controllers with resources this is important because it makes our work easier then in the next section, you will learn how to create a user profile. And then uh, there are two parts to it. And then next, you learn how to create migrations. And then you learn how to create user roles. This is where uh, most people have a lot of issues. So in this course, I took it step by step to show you in a very simple and clear and concise way how to create multiple user roles in your application. And then we're going to work on the admin role because the admin will be the overall admin that can do anything on the site. That is the super admin. We're going to work on it. And then there's a bonus lecture at the end of it. All right. Uh, so um, this is basically a run through of um, what you'll be expecting in this course. This course is 2.5 hours long. You understand? Uh, it will take you 2.5 five hours to cover the full course so you can be sure it's a power packed course so on Udemy I have over 27,000 students and I've made 11 courses so far 888 reviews and I have a whopping 4.3 average course uh, uh, rating so you can expect to have a power packed uh, um, course or ride as we go through this course alright so thank you very much see you in the next video